Hey, Jake's Lego Corner here, and today I uh, want to take this space down here, and I, well, down here, and I want to turn it into like a little Christmas village setup. I, uh, but before I do that, I'm going to need to like clear all this stuff away. Okay, so I was cleaning this out, and I s thought, hmm, maybe I might keep this tracked R. Like in the display. I haven't decided 100% yet, but I'm hoping to keep this in. Anyways, uh... Okay, so I've emptied out the Undar side. It is a bit dusty, but I have not been able to find my dust R anywhere. So, uh, and that's just gonna get covered up anyways. So now it's time to start decorating. But first... I need to quickly go get some supplies. Okay, so I'm at the Dollar Emma, and I am looking for, well, no, like this. I think I'm gonna pick up one of them, maybe two? Two. One for now. If I need another one, I'll come back and get it. Also, maybe later I might get some of those to decorate my piece, like little town. Easier than using Lego trees. And they have a good variety of them too. So, and they're cheap too, so that's a nice thing. So I have some different color variations up here. So, yeah, I'm probably going to come back and get some of those. Naturally, seeing I'm here, anyways, I'm going to go check to see if they have any Lego, which they have a Harry Potter, they have the city character, two of him. Anything else? No, a lot of comic books. Nope, just those two. And I already own both of them. Oh, there's a couple more over here. Star Wars and City, I already own both those two. Okay, I guess they don't have anything else. Okay, I got like the snow stuff put down. It's double side, like double thick from here to like here. And then it was kind of see through here, so I just added some paper underneath to, to uh, hide the like knots and the like, like if you look here, it's kind of brown and then here it's white. So, yeah, time to start decorating. Okay, so here's everything I have so far for the village. I'm going to put it all together and uh, see how it looks. I even have a handful of uh, train tracks that I can use for this trolley back here. I would have more stuff, but like my buildings from the holiday market, I think, are back there. The other building from Hogsmeade is there, and I don't really feel like taking a them off of my Lego city. I also have Christmassy minifigures and they are um snow plow I can use in here. Anything here. Um bench oh. sorry um Anyways, there's a lot of more Christmassy stuff in there. Maybe some in that top one too. I don't know. I'm gonna put it on there, see how it looks, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, this is what I have so far. So right here I have like uh, the main Christmas tree as well as a candy shop, the like medical place, and this building from the Pirates of the Caribbean set. I have a little cocoa stand there, the like spot to wait for the trolley, the trolley has a little strip of track, 
I have some trees just laying about. Over here I have a kid playing like a snowball making a fort. Here I have a snowmobile back there. I have a truck with a plow on it. I have more trees over there. But what I do feel like this is missing is bigger trees. Which I'll probably end up just using those ones from like Dollarama. The ones that were like more realistic I should say. I'm going probably going to get some of those and put those on here quickly. Okay, so I added the, like, I added the trees from Dollar M as well as a couple from my own personal collection because I already owned a couple. But I feel like they make this look, like, better, more filled than the Lego trees would have of this sort. So, yeah, I feel like this is going to be what my uh, final Christmas display looks like. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Bye.